Eddie Hearn has revealed what he said to Joshua on the phone following his defeat to Alexander Usyk. Eddie Hearn had an hour-long phone call with Anthony Joshua following his second defeat to Alexander Usyk last Saturday. During their conversation, AJ's promoter consolidated his fighter by listing off his finest qualities and achievements. Hearn told the Wofford powerhouse that he's smart, has changed the sport, is a two-time world champion, has filled stadiums, inspired people, and earned the respect he deserves from his last performance. During a stirring recollection of the chat, Hearn told the DAZN boxing show that Joshua should be proud of all he has achieved. I just finished 57 minutes with AJ on the phone, I said to him AJ you're so smart. You've got your own mind and eyes, look at what you've done. Go back to that 17 or 18 year old kid that really didn't even have a future. You've changed the sport in this country, maybe even globally. You're a two-time world heavyweight champion. You've filled stadiums around the world. You've filled stadiums around the world and inspired people. Come on, you couldn't have been there at that age thinking you were going to achieve this in your life. You've got to fall in love with the sport, he loves boxing. I also said to him remember one thing, you did well on Saturday. You boxed well, those people he talked about getting respect from, they respect him for that performance. AJ was beaten via split decision with scorecards of 115 to 113, 113 to 115, 116 to 112 in favor of his Ukrainian rival. Despite a spirited effort and vast improvement on his last performance, Usyk proved to be too tricky for the Brit in Saudi Arabia. After the fight, Joshua was met with criticism for his actions following the official verdict as he stormed out of the ring, threw down the WBA, Super, and Ring magazine belts and delivered an impassioned speech on the mic. In defense of the former Olympic gold medalist, Hearn stated during the same interview, I mean what he said, it wasn't horrendous, it wasn't disrespectful, it was fuddled and muddled but he was a very emotional guy.